makes it so easy to cut them in place. Mm. With the glove, otherwise. Just do that little corner right here. You've been paying attention to the stamp up thing. I wasn't really paying attention, but they all are. Of course they are. <laughs> you got another screw on you? Yeah. Okay, so that's Put a screw in one corner over there. We're making progress, babe. It's slow, but look at we got all this done. That overhang, I didn't check it when I put that one in, I just kind of lined it up. It's close. It's close. Okay, I'll go pull up some more. Get ready. Warm, so it doesn't help and it's not sticking, man. Right? <laughs> Starting to stick. Good morning. It apparently snowed all night. What do you think of that, Bob? Cold on the toes? Just can't catch a break. Only three more sheets.
know the chalk come for a real end. I think I think I'm the reason that the roof keeps getting sawdust on it. It's just coming off of my body. <laughs> <laughs> coming off. Okay. Okay, let's staple it then a little bit first. Okay. Why did I think this was going to be so easy? I kind of read the instructions on that box. It's like you can use it on a roof you just took shingles off. It just says sweep it and then roll it out. There's no way a roof is dirtier than Yeah, from the bottom up. Yeah. I'm gonna get there before you get started. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> That's the only goal of that. Like it doesn't have to. Yeah, well that's true. Use. I mean, like tar paper doesn't stick. You just nail it. Yeah. Thank you. 
we did it. We worked in the dark last night. It, we got a whole day without rain and we finished all the plywood and the waterproofing except for that little part at the top because we ran out of waterproofing. So we have to buy some more. We did it. So we got 95% of our roof waterproofing on and then the snow came and it stayed. It's been a little bit too slippery to walk up there. We do have some lumber wrap on the part that's not covered so it should be good for now or maybe for the whole winter so we just switched to working on little odds and ends you can see we added another four feet of waterproofing and dimple board along here and we built ourselves a little porch and stairs we put in a door so now the house blocks We've been working on drying it out in there. And we took down all that uh, bracing and catwalk so you can really start to feel like what the house is going to be like. Build ourselves some shelves in the corner. That's actually going to be our boot room. So it kind of gives you an idea. So you walk in the door, the boot room's there. This is our kitchen. Patio door with some seating over there. The stairwell will be there once we figure out how to build stairs and the bedroom at the back. It's almost like a real house. It's a sunny day, we're giving it a try.